Well, Wigan boss Matt Pete has gone for stability in this early part of the season. Changes kept to a minimum in their opening three games and none since the 36-0 win over Castleford in round three. That game highlighted, of course, by Liam Marshall's hat-trick. He has now notched eight in just three Super League matches. Field and French, the other threats in the backfield for the hosts. Well, there's no such joy in continuity of selection for the Catalan Dragons, and they have again been forced into some changes. Matthew Laguerre comes in in the centres, releasing Adam Kieran to play in the halves alongside Tyrone May after the injury to Cesar Rouge early in that victory over Hull FC. Manu Mao is recalled into the pack for the Catalan Dragons, and Ugo Tison brought onto the bench by Steve McNamara. We're about to get underway then. Catalan looking for a rare, rare win here at the DW Stadium. The conditions, it's bitterly cold, a strong wind, it's snowing, and I guess <laughs> the conditions could play a big part. Well, they could do, and probably the, the men that won't be used to it, the men from down the south of France who, who touched down this morning here, and interesting listening to the lads in the studio. Yeah, I agree with them. We've got four outstanding wingers on shore, but those lads in the middle, let me tell you, they know that they're in for a big battle because it could become a bit of a slugfest. Yeah, you talk about the, the you know, Catalan not having the, the weather, but did you see their pre-season shots in the snow, trudging up the hills? I think they're, you in know... In the sun. Well, I don't know about that. They, I think they're uh, going to take this weather pretty well, but like you say, it's definitely about, the, about these middles, isn't it? And uh, keeping the Wigan to the edges, definitely. Well, there's the early kick from Smith, and after Morg does well in the end, started all three games at fullback for Catalan uh, so far this season. Sam Tompkins with just the one appearance, that was in the halves, uh, but he is still recovering from uh, a knee injury, and of course, still no Mitchell Pierce as well. Good, well done, Morg. Good listening, mate. So, yeah, once more. Still going. Fourth year with the Dragons. McAlora who's played on this ground so many times, it'd be sweet for him to win, and here is Bousquet. Don't forget, Wigan haven't conceded a point in nearly 170 minutes of football. May now, that's a good ball. Morg, Morg going for the line himself. Can he get the ball down? Brilliant Wigan defence, it had to be. He was stretching, he was stretching every sinew, and he was pushed back. They're knocking on the door. And they're more than knocking on the door because that is the first try of the game. Brilliant try. As soon as this ball's played, he's just setting his target. He's already picked where he's going to run. And he's got to be brave. Look at him, you can spot the defenders. He's looking where he goes. He just settles a bit further out. Eyes up Singleton, hits and spins and gets over. All, all smiles for the coach. Manu Mara's first try for the Dragons. The former Hull star, and what a start. In the end, Wigan's run coming to an end at 170 minutes without conceding a point. Well, they conceded first here against the Catalan side, who've won twice in 16 years. Much to muse about for Matty Pete and his assistant, Sean O'Loughlin, and Adam Kieran. 18 points against Hull last week in their best performance of their season, the biggest win of the season, to turn four into six. Well, never any doubt, the perfect start. The Dragons lead by six points to nil. Here is Tyrone May. Desiree again. He's a big unit, isn't he, May? <laughs> Up that Wait. middle of this time is a great addition. May again. Five. Second or third time they've been this close to the Wigan try line. They lead 6 0. They defended superbly. They come the short side with Morgan. It was knocked on by Wardle, and they're going to get another set. This is a really good opportunity for more points for the Catalan Dragons. Well, nice little short side player. Morg just sitting a bit deeper, yeah, knowing exactly what he wants to do. If he can get a defender interested, create some space in the three-on-two. If not, he'll just kick the ball, and Jake Wardle goes for it. 
can't quite I'm poach it, puts themselves under a bit of pressure down here, exactly where Catalan wants to be. Well, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Uh, at half time, shot Matthew Pete is going to have some words to say, I'm sure, to his players. And in, in, a, in a first for uh, Sky Sports and for Super League, Matthew Pete is allowing John Wells into the dressing room to hear that half time talk. That will be an interesting listen, I'm sure. Marks another penalty against Wigan. I think for offside. Well, a bit of afters as well. Well, I think it's Toby King again, and look who's in the middle of it. Michael McLaurin straight into it. Well, the ice just really smiling at him, yeah, just cared Cusmel. Well, Willie really Ison never takes a backward step. No, he doesn't. Mickey McLaurin never takes never a backward ever, step. Never, does he? He's always in there. They're good friends, them two. You know, Michael McLaurin. I think it was his testimonial year. He, he was told by Wigan if he wanted, he could he could move on. I know it hurt his feelings. You can see Ked Custy gets up, he pushes Kieran, yeah, thinking it's him. It was actually McLaurin. Kieran has been exceptional with the boot in the first three games for the Dragons. And is again. So there we go. Eight nil. Catalan lead. Well, they lead eight nil. And they're looking for more, picked up on the bounce by young Chiso. Matthew Laguerre, with an arm injury, is off for the Catalan Dragons. Desiree does really well, right in front of those Wigan posts. McAlorum looks right, goes left. May with a little pass, and the ball will go out, surely, for the try for Romano. And that's a brilliant, brilliant Catalan try. And they have turned the pressure into points. And Arta Romano makes it 12-0. Silence around the DW Stadium, but no more than Catalan deserve. Yeah, oh, absolutely fantastic. We've talked about that, that 100% completion rate, those simple basics coming off. And that was moving that ball really swiftly through the hands and, and making that defence work. And then we're going to push it, look at there, just out the back play. And again, simple hands, you're making that defence come in. The ball's just moving really swiftly across there. And then we see Gus there doesn't know what to do. He's got to pin his defence there. And, and that just opens up the side for these this two-on-one here. Really simple, pass the ball over, slide it down. And I think that's uh, Catalan's well-deserved. They've been up on this edge so, so many times. They've had so many set resets, so many penalties. They've edged the defence. And now they're uh, really reaping the rewards of that. Interesting as well, Phil Clark was saying in the build-up that he reckons that Alan Kieran could turn out to be one of the best signings of the year. That was probably why. That was a fantastic pass. Read it beautifully. Yeah, he's a good player, isn't he? He's been getting uh, some media attention saying how well he's been playing and how he's just slotted into the side. And, you know, you look at the way that Wigan defend them, they're renowned for being an aggressive side. They jammed in, it was Toby King who, who jammed in. He turned his hips, he created that three on one out of the bat, and you've got to have some vision. Like I say, Kieran spots it, along with Michael McLaurin. They're looking at them short side players and seeing what Tom. Worth mentioning that Catalan have lost their last 15 games on this ground. Off the touchline to make it a three-score game. Just fades to the right. Matthew, thanks very much. We'll look forward to hearing what you have to say during half-time. John Wells, of course, in the, in the Wigan dressing room. And this is another penalty for Wigan. And again, the clock is stopped, and there's still a minute to go. Do they have to score here? Well, if they don't score here, it doesn't mean that the game's gone. But they've got a minute. They've got six players, they're going to go for two points. What are they going to do? It settles you down a bit, doesn't it? Just getting the points on the board, I think. The score's not in their, in their way, but I think definitely getting something on there, not getting on with that nil, will maybe settle you down a little bit, give you a little bit more confidence, just get the flow back in. Yeah, Manu Mao it was with a challenge on Kay Cust. And they've been clamping down on this, the referees, haven't they? And ten minutes in the sin bin for Manu Mao, and I suppose it's... It's consistent, isn't it? But there has been a lot of clamping down on the late or late-ish hits in the first three or four weeks. And Manu Mao got the first try, go to the sin bin, and with less than less than a minute to go to half time, probably the right decision for Wigger to try and put some points on the board with a penalty. Yeah, well they'll just take it now, won't they? 
as soon as they were having a little look at that. And then Kate Cuss came along and said, yeah, we'll go for the two points here. A yellow card? I think it, when they were looking at it initially, where it, where it's ended up, that's why it's been given a penalty. But the initial contact was fine, it's where it ended up. It's just hard, isn't it? It's momentum. Is that fine line between late hit and momentum, I think? That's the calls that the referees are making, isn't it? So, Harry Smith to put some points on the board for Wigan, and he does right at the end of what's been a pulsating first half here at the DW Stadium. And here's for, for Jay Field. Let's just see what he can do. Get the ball out. Now there's some quick hands. Opportunity on this side, maybe. The break. It was King. First time that we've really seen Wigan get the ball out. Go wide. It's going to be half these boys as well, these young lads that, you know, that are used to getting that bit of you know, success on the wing and getting on the edge, and they're just getting shut down every time. They're going to get frustrated. Well, here is Marshall with an opportunity. Can they score with the Dragons down to 12 men? Smith again will be involved in everything. That's a brilliant offload, and there is the try. Superb play from Kane Ellis, and there is the try from Harry Smith. And Wigan are on the board, and Wigan do punish Catalan down to 12 men. We said it was so important at the start of this second half. It's taken four minutes, and Wigan are right back in it. Hey, Stuart, that wasn't down to a man being in the bin. That was just because Cade Ellis decided to run, and he run with some purpose, run with some intent, gets his nose through the line, and then Harry Smith, look at him, he just wraps around. He goes through two players. That's a good play from the prop forward. He's just got to tuck the ball under his wing, and Harry Smith, well, as a half-back, you've got to know who can offload the ball, who can break a tackle, and he knew exactly what he had to do. He had to keep alive, keep pushing up, and now the pressure really could be on Catalan here. Yeah, I think uh, for a young lad, Harry Smith commands, doesn't he? He commands the team, he organises, he directs them, and that's exactly what you can see him doing. He practically orchestrates his own try there by making sure that he's got the players, he's got the space, he's picked the right person for it, and uh, he, he's got the spoils from it as well. Yeah, 20 points in the round of the Castleford Tigers last weekend. And Harry Smith with the try. He kicked the penalty just before half-time. And he's surely going to have the extras here. And we have a real game on our hands. The deficit is down to four. Only five minutes gone in the second half. And again, the crowd getting involved. Just getting a little tasty. And here is Patrick Margo. He's another big well, He's the super sub in. He's only had one start in his winning career. Yeah. Makes an impact off the bench. 34 games for Wigan, 33 of them off the bench, and they're, they're getting closer once more. Here's Margo, and that diagonal run that we've seen so often over the last 15 years or so from Liam Farrell. The new captain taking over from Thomas Lunarite, shrugs off the challenge of McAloran. The referee here is going to say penalty, interference by at least three Catalan players. Michael McAloran arguing there with the referee. That was a well-won penalty. Well, he knows what he's doing, doesn't he, Liam Farrell? He's outstanding. He keeps turning up. He's one of those players. And he said that run, that diagonal run, that he comes back against the grain. He's had so much joy in his career over that. We're going to go for two points again here. I think, I think that's a good decision. Look at how long there is still to go. It just closes that gap, doesn't it, down a little bit, and it looks like then that, you know, the mistakes like that from Catalan, they're not really mistakes. He could have moved out the way. Are Catalan now a little bit rattled that they've not come back in the, the second half and continued their momentum? You know, the Wigan's energy is lifted, so is the crowd lifted. And, you know, and that crowd sometimes acts as that 14th man, don't they? And the energy that's coming now from the stadium is really fueling Wigan forward. Really enjoying this now, to say there's a bit of... Bit of an edge, and both sides knowing how important this half is, even even if it is only round four and this early in the season. Well, every point that Wigan have on the board has come from that young man and Harry Smith. 
puts over the penalty there is the the watching England coach. 18 and a half minutes to go. He's got the feeling that there's one or two twists and turns left in this game, and this may be one as well. Brilliant run, chance, chance, got to score, surely gets the ball down. Now, did he score? Manu Mao thinks he's got another try. Brilliant there from Tyrone May. And Manu Mao, who scored his first try for Catalan in the first half, may have got another. Ben Saylor is the video referee. Uh, we have a we have a live call of a try. Can we go back to the kick, please, initially, and check for the onside to start with? Pause it there. He's onside. We can run on from here. Ball's caught cleanly. Playing on from here. He's still got possession of the ball. It's in his arms. There's one man in the tackle at that point. So many. He's still got possession of the ball. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going on this angle. And we pause it there. There. Thank you. I've now made my decision. Well, in the end, it may well be quite an easy decision for Ben Thaler. And what a moment it could prove to be for Manu Mao. And what a moment it is for the Catalan Dragons. What a time to score a try with 18 minutes to go. And the former Hull star has had a dramatic game, to say the least. Scored a try in the first half with Simbin at the end of the first half. But what about this from Tyrone May? And look, we've seen Tyrone May so many times. He spots that gap and Mano Mao is just on the edge of that breaks it through, you know, he's got a one-on-one -on -one defence, he backs himself to get through. It was so close to being held up then, but he just keeps his momentum going. And I think, again, look, just that little chip, he's a little look to his side, he's seen he's got a good support. What an absolute blistering runner that this guy is. He shouldn't be able to move like he does, he's such a big fella. But we, like we talked about earlier, the agility of these fellas these days is just unbelievable. And Catalan really needed to respond to, to Wigan in this first half, because they've been a little bit quiet, haven't they? Well, the first time you scored a, two tries in a match in Super League, and the first time for eight years since he scored two tries in a match, that was for that was for Parramatta. And uh, Ian Proctor just seems to have every stat going, doesn't he? Eight years since he scored two tries in a game, but this is the most important kick of the game because it makes it a two-score game. Kieran Shirley to add the extras. And he does, and the Dragons go 18 points to 10 up here at Wigan with 17 minutes to go. Well, Catalan are about to celebrate, and there is the Hooter. What a fantastic victory for the Dragons and for their coach. And it's finished, Wigan 10, Catalan 18.